G'day guys, welcome back to the Lotus Grind. Alright guys, I got a, another random bike for us today, and what was even more exciting was that it was a local pickup, so didn't have to get, um, cop that massive increase in, like, postage just takes forever, and they've just put up the rates across Australia again, so yeah, it's just getting expensive moving magic cards around. So, this one was a local buy, albeit I had to drive, um, probably about half an hour to actually collect them, but... Uh, I'll show you some pictures now uh, of what I saw online and yeah I think it was worth uh, taking a punt on the total cost so it was 80 bucks and for that you can probably see the pictures through here there's some pretty cool stuff so there's um, things like uh, event decks and again it's kind of from that same era it seems like for most of the last few random buyers, we're all hitting those cards that are about 10 years old. Um, I don't know why, but they all seem to be, have come in this nice big clump, which does make it easier for me because it means that I don't have to shift my focus too much on um, and remembering where things are at in terms of their values. So without further ado, I'm going to go grab it. All right. So, heaps of stuff in here, all very exciting. Um, so having a chat with a guy, he was an absolute ripper, a lovely guy. Um, so he's uh, really into the tabletop gaming, um, which is cool. And also expecting another kid coming along. So um, kind of having that classic discussion around what's happening with your study and your, your storage and all the rest of it, which is why I've kind of picked up all this stuff through here. So we we're just having a chat a bit more about the magic and uh, what what's in here and what the backstory was. And it was right mainly around having pre-cons. So there's a lot of pre-cons. Um, uh, didn't do too much deck building, but there's some deck builders toolkits through here. Uh, so I'm, I'm not expecting anything crazy, but I think for the price I paid for 80 bucks, it was, it was worth having a go. Some of these event decks through here, oh, I can't remember which one it is. I think it might be... I think the Theros event deck should have a, I think it's got a, sh a shock land in it. So yeah, like there'll be little things through here that'll, that I'm hoping will all add up. Um, don't know whether I'll just move on the decks all at once. I need to put a whole listing together for all of the, the pre-con decks I've got now. I've got heaps. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get to it. So... Through here, we've got Theros event deck. Um, we've got a Born of the Gods event deck. We've got a Khan's event deck. I think they only released like one event deck for a few of those. We've got a Journey event deck. Um... We've got, I think he was saying that these are pre-cons as well, but we'll check that out. Another nice bit of kit through here. Um, and then some fat pack storage boxes, um, really organized, um, saying that everything's sorted by color wheel, which is going to make it easy for me. So I'm pretty stoked for that. Um, so what was that? Khan's Fat Pack, M15 Fat Pack, M14, sorry, these deck builders toolkits, and other M15 deck builders toolkit. Okay, so, cool. All right, where to start? I think what we should do I don't think the event de decks are going to um, blow our hair back too much. So maybe we'll just work our way through those ones. Maybe the pre-con through there. And then who knows, maybe there might be some cool stuff um, picked up along the way through, you know, the boosters and what have you that you get in these. So I'll save these for last because they might be the most surprising. Okay. All right. Um, let's just work through this. Let's do these ones. 
Right, nice. All sleeved up. Beautiful. All right, let's get to it. Yep, okay, nothing crazy there. Dark Steel Citadel might be worth picking. Okay, it's a bit funky. A beat up 6th edition reverse damage. Alright, okay. Interesting uh, sub. Dolgen Tormentor, cool. Right, okay, that was a bit weird. Gonna have to check out. If that was a pre con, then I guess there's been a sub somewhere there. Jaintonix, how are we looking? Yep. Okay. Battle driver. Okay. Man, back in the day, a play set of gutter snipes wouldn't have been too bad. Tormid's Crips, yeah, they're worth picking. Oh, oh, nice. Sweet. Dictate of Erebos. Yeah, okay. I didn't realize that that was in. Spear of Heliod's all right. Cave of Kolios, reprinted again. Imagine my surprise. Cool. Okay.
attack, right? Okay, and then that was the, I think I've already gone through this. No dice. It's a shame. Unless. No, no dice. Oh well. Um, Alright, I'm pretty sure that the Theros one had a shock land in it. Or was it Howard Fountain, maybe? Tension sphere. Another detention sphere. Hey, there it is. Awesome. Hallowed fountain. Sweet. And an imposing sovereign. Okay, cool. Alright, I. So, yeah, guys, nothing. I think earth shattering through those. I think they're all complete. Um, or at least they got. Certainly got some decent cards through there, so. That's cool. I know they're incomplete now, but I'll make the call later on to put them back together. Won't take too long. Cool. Okay. Moving on. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got sleeved up stuff. Oh, I think he did mention he had a fair few pre-cons, so maybe there's going to be some more. Okay. What do we got here? Prognostic Sphinx. Ah. Oh, sweet. Promo. And a Hydra Broodmaster promo. And a Prophet of Crufix promo. Sweet. A temple promo, cool. Vampire? Yeah, I think so, maybe. Uh, I don't think that's any. Alright, little red indicator. Yeah, okay. Starting off the colour wheel with red. Oh, okay. This guy's a Mirrodin. Molten Psych. Okay, I wonder how over the place this is going to go. Crucible of Fire.
Okay. Yeah, right. I had some random sets thrown in there. Maybe that what started him off years ago, maybe. We all get given something to start. Ooh, artifacts. Okay. Let's go. Torments. Trading post. <laughs> Whoa, a white border rare. <laughs> it's not a um, it's a, not a mana vault. All right, love it. The dingus, yeah, dingus. I need to sort this out. Getting some rares through the bulk. Pretty happy with that, but I think there's anything insane. Economist enraged. Siege Rhino. Architects of Will, maybe. deck Gruel Rage Base Ooh, Abrupt Decay, that's alright Okay, well, I mean, we've gone through the artifacts and the multis, so I was probably hoping we might get one or two decent out of that, I mean that's not terrible. Foil. Resolute Archangel, cool. Angelica Cord. Little Spirit Bonds.
hören. Schöne. Some in the Nile, just hanging in there, I think, at a dollar. Chasm Skulker. Ooh, a little Storm Tide Leviathan. Fun. Rapid hybridization, nice. Foil void snare. Okay. Yeah, okay, didn't hit any uh, cyclonic rifts or anything. That's cool. Yeah, all the M15 slivers, it'd be nice to have hit a few of those. I know we got some leeching slivers. Infect, maybe. Yes, son. Um, I'll pick the mystics, but they might not be. Hey, Venom's living nice. Manoeft. Cool. Okay.
Genesis Hydra, okay. Course for Crewfix, nice. Oh, Nykthos. Oh, awesome. Nice. Okay, so there's like a bomb intro deck in here. Faded Intervention, don't think it's anything. Whoa. Font of Fertility. I mean, it is a promo. Tormentor. The unseen. Maybe a dollar. <laughs> Wood might be something. Pick out those. Night's oh, Whisper, that's a good card. From um, Fifth Dawn. Oh, remand. Nice. Pick those. Yep, pick one of them. No, no, no. Shimmering Grotto, no. Hmm, 
Yeah, I'll skip over it. Man, you got some cool non basics through here. None of the. Oh, <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Brooding pool. Awesome. That is a solid hit. All right. Got any more for me? Come on. It's not a massive stack. Sliver Hive. Oh, awesome. It's come back a bit, but nice. Oh, and a temple. Oh, here we go, guys. Hold on. Temple of Plenty. Temple of Triumph. Come on, let's keep this going. Dark Steel Citadel is worth picking. Oh, damn. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, Foil Thorned Falls. Might pick that. Opulent Palace. Pick that. Come on. Ah. Hey, pretty good. All right. Um, well, I don't think... Yeah. Just... I was talking about the whole pre-con situation. I didn't think it was going to set the world alight. But I thought for 80 bucks it was worth a crack. Um... No, I think we've still done pretty well. Um, I don't know about the strategy that I'm going to have to... Um, just quickly, I'll be able to do it whilst I'm watching the video back. I'll be able to put them back into their decks if I think that's going to be the most appropriate way to move on. Everything. Um, and then any of the singles. Um, yeah, there's some decent chunky stuff here that I might be able to do in singles. But the rest of it, um, probably need a buy list. All right. Cool. Cool. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. Hope you're having a good weekend. And I will catch you next time on the Lotus Grind. Cheers.